Hello, it's Laura Dovalo here with some cute gift tags for the My Favorite Things, a very crafty holiday week. I love wrapping gifts and making my own tags, and for Christmas my absolute favorite color combo is red, white and craft. For these tags I also added touches of green, gold and copper. These colors and the images from the iconic Christmas set remind me of my native Finland, so I guess you could call this style Nordic or Scandinavian. Okay, let's get to it. I started by cutting the dies from a 5.5 by 6 inch panel of cardstock. Next, I adhered a piece of masking paper to the back to keep all of the die cuts from popping out of their places. I also added some double sided tape to keep the panel from moving. After that, I used the panel as a template to position all of the stamps. It's easier to do this if they are slightly stained because you can better see the outlines of the images. Off camera I position them one stamp at a time, closing the Misty's door in between so that they wouldn't shift. And now we can ink and stamp the images all at once. And after this you can do the stamping first and then the die cutting. I got so carried away that I made enough for at least 50 tags. Let's repeat that because I clearly didn't apply a sufficient amount of ink or pressure in the center. There we go. Next I'm going to emboss with a super fine gold powder. And a trick to perfect embossing is of course to use plenty of starch or talcum powder before stamping. You also need to invest in good quality embossing inks and powders. And there are a bunch of them out there. After inking, stamping and adding the embossing powder, I get rid of any extra particles with a needle tip. You also need to be careful when applying heat to the powder and move on as soon as it melts. This one has a little bit of a texture to it, but the platinum, which is my favorite, is totally smooth. Here you can see how easy it is to position the dice to die cut all of the images at once. A total time saver if you ask me. And here I'm embossing the sentiments from the itty bitty holiday set. I tried different ways to go faster but came to the conclusion that it was best to just do two at a time. Stamp, apply powder, melt it cut the strips with my paper trimmer and later with one of the dies from the itty bitty strips dynamics. The best part is assembling the tags. It's almost like laying a puzzle. The gift tag dynamics is great because it comes with a topper and two different edge pieces. And playing with the colors of these elements and even the reinforcement piece totally changes the look of the tags. And when you add a couple of the tiny images with strips of foam tape, magic happens. For my first tag I created a little forest with a house and a couple of deer. I glued the sentiment strip to the largest trees on the bottom. This one is totally different with all that gold and white embossed images. In the third tag I combined elements from the previous two using only trees. And here you can see how the white border of the images pop against the dark red. The scalloped edge piece almost looks like snow. When I was done with my tags, I trimmed 8 12 inch pieces of craft twine. I then pushed the looped end through the tag hole and pulled the ends of the twine through the loop. Easy peasy. Finally, here is how I tie the tags to the gifts with a simple bow. I just love this traditional Christmas look of red, white, craft and gold. Thank you so much for joining me today during this very crafty holiday week. Don't forget to leave a comment for a chance to win one of the $50 gift vouchers to the MFT store. Have a great day. Bye bye.